Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The DRDO Swift has taken its maiden flight yesterday. While it has raised the enthusiasm of defense lovers, it also left a question unanswered. Has there been a change in design? Now many of our viewers have pointed out on the test flight video which was showing a vertical tail before and after landing which was not there on the earlier prototype shown during the taxi trials. At the 13th second of the test flight video which the Swift is attempting to land, the vertical fin is not visible for almost 3 to 4 seconds and only when the camera angle changed to side view and closer the fin could be seen. For sure we can say that DRDO has two prototypes of Swift. One without fin which we saw last year during taxi trials and one with fin which we saw yesterday during its maiden flight trial. Now the question is why the vertical tail has been added. Usually the tail of an aircraft serves several purposes but the main purpose is to provide stability for the aircraft meaning that if the aircraft is tilted off course by a gust of wind it can return to its original position. Tail includes control surfaces to control the plane. Tail fins are the vertical stabilizer of the aircraft which keeps the plane in line with the direction of motion. While the fin improves the aerodynamics but increases the radar cross section. Also the control law or the algorithm that is the heart of flight control and its movement changes when the fin is added. Therefore, the fin has been added just for testing and Ghatak which is its bigger or full scale version will not have the tail fin. It has been temporarily added to either have better flight control and better safety margin as it was the maiden flight of Swift or to study its aerodynamic performance and its impact on radar cross section of the UAV. This is the first flight test of unmanned stealth UCAV of India and many more details will be uncovered going forward. It is a major milestone achieved as the UAV has an endurance of an hour, service ceiling of 20,000 feet and a VHF command link that are good for 200 kilometers. While it's just a technical demonstrator, however, it will be useful in tactical surveillance as well and will complement Ghatak UCAV in operations. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.